Hey Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your January 2018 monthly general reading. Now the messages will not resonate with every Scorpio who views the video, but if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment. Um, Happy New Year. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Yeah, that's pretty much it for now. I will um, have a few announcements at the end of the reading. Um, I do shuffle and pray over the cards off camera, but we'll give the cards a quick shuffle and we'll get started. I hope that everyone is having a really good new year. Um, I am. I hope that your new year started off well, or at least in the manner that um, you wanted it to start off in. Okay? How you start is how you finish. What somebody told me. All right, here we go, here we go. All right, Scorpio, the general energy for Scorpio, general energy for Scorpio. Thank you for the general energy for Scorpio. Okay, two of wands, seven of wands, three of cups, six of pentacle. These two cards fell out of the deck off camera when I was shuffling off camera for you. Um. Someone has a decision to make. Someone is making a decision. It's, you know, it's an active decision that they're making. Um, this is a pretty huge decision because it's going to impact a big aspect of your, your life, your world. You could possibly move in a, be moving away from the old, whatever the old is, into the new. Um, you're defensive about the past or about reconciliation. It's it's it, you're about two minds about something. It's like, yeah, I want to move on, but the past is still there. It's still very much in your mind. It's still very much in your everyday space. You could be dealing with another water sign or a fire sign. You have to defend your mind or, or your the decision that you've made. Possibly you, you don't want reconciliation or you don't want the past. Um, maybe due to a third party situation, maybe. That's not always. Um, or you don't want someone from the past. Or you don't want to revive the past because it, you felt like it was, it just wasn't equal. You know, there was someone giving more than the other. There was someone doing more. Put it in more time, effort, money. So that's the overall energy for Scorpio. Um, and it's the overall energy. So it's not, you know, for everyone. Let's see what's going on for my Scorpio couples. Scorpio couples. What's going on with my Scorpio couples? Thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages for my Scorpio couple. True, accurate messages for my Scorpio couples. Messages of love and light. Messages to guide. Messages to help move Scorpio along in their path and their journey here on this earth. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages for Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio couples. Messages for Scorpio couples. Seven of Swords. Woo, the Tower. Wow. Messages for Scorpio couple. Four of Pentacles. The Moon. Now, this is, um, Scorpio, this is not good. So, someone you know, is devising a plan to do something behind your back, to move away from a situation, to move out of a situation. Devising a plan, you know. This could be you, Scorpio. You could be dealing with air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. But there will be a tower moment, a unexpected eruption, a moment that will, um, you know, shake the foundation of, of you filling the blank. The tower comes in 
when too much of um, too much havoc and chaos has, has gone on too long the universe comes in and helps you out helps try to get things back on equal footing in this relationship someone's holding on to resources money and or emotions or they're trying to hold on to this relationship but there's nothing but secrets and lies half truths things unrevealed maybe by way of the universe not revealing them to you just yet in the midst of this relationship it's just some real funky energy for my Scorpio couples if you're in a happy relationship then this is not for you click off um yeah it's a cup yeah someone wants new love or has new love someone wants a resurgence of you know love here in this hangman right um all right here we go death here you're showing up in your own reading ace of wands queen of cups justice it looks like someone is trying to devise a plan of action to uh, divorce or to move away from to separate but it looks like someone else is holding on to the relationship or the bond here they don't want divorce and separation but they also I feel they're also not willing to change either so they don't want divorce and separation but they're not willing to change what divorce separation caution and relationship heartache heartbreak what i tell you right um what, what did i tell you nine of cups seven of one three of wands someone's hoping and wishing for someone to stay stay and try to have a resurgence in love with the ace of cups here but someone else could be you Scorpio or your partner defending their change of mind their way of thinking their decision uh, to possibly let go of partnership and look out into the horizons um, have some futuristic thoughts about what can happen or what will happen for them alone All right, so that's my um, Scorpio couples. Wow. Pretty clear, you know, um, that it's either you, Scorpio, or somebody you're dealing with. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages for my Scorpio singles. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use a new deck. All right. messages from my Scorpio singles true accurate messages from my Scorpio singles messages of love light guidance guiding my Scorpio singles in the manner that our creator wants them to go thank you thank you thank you for the messages from my Scorpio single true accurate messages thank you thank you thank you thank you for the messages for Scorpio singles seven of club queen of diamond six of pinnacle Jack of Hearts, King of Pentacles, Jack of Club, Four of Heart, Six of Club, Three of Heart, Four of Pentacle, Four of Four Diamond, Nine of Diamond, Eight of Clubs. Mm. Okay, firstly, it's all over the place for my Scorpio singles. It looks like some of you are in a long-term partnership. Um, you're 
this is for my singles. We have my single card here with the nine of diamond. Um, but it looks like he possibly just had reunion, maybe with a fire sign or with an earth sign. It looks like you're in a long-term relationship or partnership, live-in, ship, whatever. Um, some of you are having heightened psychic abilities in regards to someone of the opposite sex. Maybe due to the trouble in your relationship due to jealousy and or greed. And someone wanting to work on the partnership have a new foundational start, possibly with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, male or female. We got victory here. Yeah, someone just recently reconciled with someone. Could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Yeah, you were extending your love here. At one time, you felt like it was in a... You know, this relationship, once again, was, you know, there was a, a huge amount of inequality. And there were problems in this relationship. But now you might be having a change of journey, change of home, reconciliation. But some of you are still holding on to singlehood due to the jealousy and greed in the current relationship, but someone wants to work on this, have real partnership, victory, with a fire sign, or someone like that, or someone who they deem is very attractive, sexy, exotic. Hmm. But either their psychic abilities are heightened toward you, or yours toward them. Because someone's still trying to maintain their singlehood, even in partnership. Now we have 12 minutes. I'm going to do one more spread for, it's a general spread for Scorpio. And then we're going to get on out of here. We do some advice cards and move on. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages for my Scorpios. General advice for Scorpios. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages for Scorpio. True, accurate messages. Messages of love and light. Messages of guidance, clarity. Some of the same cards. Um, the tower or something like the tower, a bad event, unforeseen event is here and the the foundation or the basis for all of the energy. In the past was a five of hearts, someone hesitating before making decisions and or grieving a situation, possibly a third party situation. Presently we have the three of diamonds. Someone could be dealing with legal issues, waiting for leak um a legal issue to be settled with the three of diamond here or third party some of you could be dealing with the Capricorn Virgo Taurus and having opposition transition and having to make a decision to an active decision to chart a new path The near future is the ultimate and the highest level of happiness or family here or the Ten of Hearts. And your power is the Seven of Hearts. It could be confusion, broken promises, or the unfaithful spouse. This could be you, Scorpio, or someone else or your partner. What's external to you is someone checking out of a situation, mentally checking out getting you know making achievements over there what they deem are burdens moving away from burden 
could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What you your hopes and fears is the Four of Pentacles. This is a large sum of money. Maybe winning the lottery. Maybe this judgment here, Three of Diamond, Four of Diamond. So some of you are hoping for that judgment and that legality to go ahead and be settled for you. And the outcome is the Eight of Clubs. Things moving fast. There's fast communication, back and forth, rapid communication in regards to a situation. Could be in regards to um, relationship problems due to jealousy and or greed. That's the general energy for my Scorpios. Alright, let's get us some advice cards. Thank you for it advice for my Scorpio couples true accurate messages for my Scorpio couples true accurate advice cards support cards for my Scorpio couples alright thank you thank you thank you for advice for my Scorpio couples advice for my Scorpio couples advice for my Scorpio couples thank you thank you gracefully aging thank you for advice for my leaving thank you for forgiveness yeah um, the spread earlier for some of you, and definitely for my women, gracefully aging. Um, this also could talk about changing your beauty regimen also. Um, seeking out, you know, consultation to change your image. Um, taking care of yourself in the aging process. Aging is a beautiful thing. Some people never see old age or mature age. So don't uh, stray or, you know, or be um, frightened of that. That's a beautiful thing. Um, but definitely uh, do it with grace. Yeah. Okay, I just heard dress your age. I don't even know where that came from, but it just kind of popped up. Dress your age. That's for some of you. It may not be for all of you. Leaving. Now, we saw that in the Scorpio couples spread. The Seven of Swords. You know, the two of wands, three of wands, people devising plans of action. Seven of wands having to defend their um, decision to leave. Forgiveness with the three of swords. Some of you need to ask for forgiveness. Uh, you need to ask for forgiveness or you need to extend forgiveness. Um, don't carry the weight. It only weighs you down. Forgiveness is not just for the other party, but it's for you too. Forgiveness releases all people involved. Leaving forgiveness gracefully aging. Beautiful, beautiful advice. All right. Advice cards for my Scorpio singles. Advice cards for my Scorpio singles. True, accurate messages from a Scorpio single. Scorpio singles. Thank you, thank you, thank you for messages from a Scorpio singles. Okay. Religion and spirituality, sentimental feelings. Thank you for the messages. For my Scorpio's single sobriety. Alright. Yeah, this was what pretty much I felt. There was reunion in a relationship for some of my Scorpio singles. Because there were sentimental feelings. There was the residual energy of, of that person. So you went back. Religion and spirituality. Some of you are trying to figure this out for yourselves. Some of you um, are tarot card readers. You are interested in the esoteric. You're in interested in gaining knowledge. Um, you're trying to 
figure out your religion and your spirituality. Um, I don't know why I just heard stay woke. That's crazy. Anyway, I'm uh, moving right along. Do the research. I'm hearing that too. Do the research. If it doesn't make sense to you, make it make sense to you. If it never makes sense to you, then you might have to think about change. Change of mind. Changing your mind actually popped out off camera for you guys. Religion and spirituality. Sobriety. Now this could be sobriety for you. This could be sobriety for um, someone else around you. But sobriety is, is in so many forms. Of course, it's being sober of mind from, um, you know, outside uh, um um, outside agents, you know, um, drink, strong drink, uh, all kinds of different drugs, pres prescription, um, street drugs. Of course, sobriety, you know, it's that. But I'm hearing sobriety of mind. Like some of you, some of you, your mind is clouded with so many different things. Um, your mind is, um, overloaded and bombarded with things that don't matter and which is not allowing you to make sober decisions about things that do matter wow that's for somebody so sobriety isn't just you know reframing from um you know uh toxins alcoholic drink and all that stuff but it might be reframing from the push of certain images and certain mind frames that we all get pushed on us each and every day from television to the phone to smartphones to social media it might be reframing or cutting down the activity of being on social media listening to the music looking at television sober up your mind okay so i hope that all of these messages help each and every person who viewed the video that's my hope that's my prayer um, but if it did not please check your sun moon rising sign well this is your sun hopefully but check all signs um if you feel like this did resonate with you please Reach out to me for a personal reading. I am doing the 25, 25 reading special, $25 for 25 minutes. Take advantage of that. Um, choose to fund the page. Click the GoFundMe link. Follow me on Instagram. My handles are below. Um, what else? What else? Follow me on InstaGo. Um, it's a new app I'm using where you can connect with me, ask me a question or two in regards to your situation. I'll pull a few cards for you and get back to you. But if you feel like you need an in-depth reading, please email me at tarotofl at gmail.com. All information is below in the description box. Uh, please like, 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 share, share these videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you in advance for all the support, the love, the positive comments um, get in the comment section and um, help each other out it's good and it feels good to know that others are going through maybe a similar situation you can shed some light you can bring some clarity to someone else all right so with that being said remember when in doubt pray I'm praying for you pray for me as well take care until the next time bye guys